boys and girls, it's Miss Michelle. Welcome to your CFC Kids Ministry Moment. Each week, we're digging into God's Word to tell you the one big true story where everything points to Jesus. So last week, we learned that Jesus healed a man and forgave his sins. The religious leaders were unhappy because they didn't think Jesus had the power to forgive sin. But Jesus showed that he is God the Son and he has the power to heal and to forgive. Nothing is too hard for God. Jesus can still heal our physical bodies and only Jesus provides the way to have forgiveness and life with God. Today, we will learn about another man who needed Jesus' help. And that brings me to our story for today. Jesus has power over evil from the book of Mark in the Bible. One day, Jesus and his disciples sailed across the sea from Galilee to the region of Gerasenes. As soon as Jesus stepped out of the boat, a man came to meet him. The man had been living in the caves where people were buried. Something was wrong with the man. He was not himself. He had an evil spirit in him that caused him to hurt and suffer. People had tried to tie up the man with chains and shackles, but the man had broken the chains and smashed the shackles. No one was strong enough to tie him up. The man saw Jesus coming and he ran to meet him. He knelt down in front of Jesus and Jesus commanded the evil spirit, Come out of this man, Jesus said. The man cried out with a loud voice and the evil spirit spoke through him. What do you have to do with me, Jesus, son of the most high God? I beg you before God, don't punish me. Jesus asked, What is your name? The evil spirit inside the man answered, my name is Legion, because there are many evil spirits with me. The spirits inside the man begged Jesus not to send them away. Nearby, a large herd of pigs was eating on a hillside. The evil spirits said, If you send us anywhere, send us into those pigs. So Jesus allowed the evil spirits to leave the man and go into the pigs. All of the pigs, about 2,000 of them, ran down the hill and into the sea. There they drowned. The men who took care of the pigs saw what happened and they ran off and told everyone in the town and the nearby farms about what Jesus had done. The people came out to see Jesus and they saw the man who had been living in the caves. The man did not have an evil spirit inside him anymore. He was dressed and behaved normally again. The people were afraid and they asked Jesus to leave. As Jesus was getting back into the boat, the man who had been living in the caves asked Jesus if he could go with him. But Jesus did not allow the man to go with him. Jesus said, Go home to your friends and family members. Tell them what happened and how the Lord helped you. The man obeyed Jesus. He told all the people about what Jesus had done for him. All the people were amazed. Isn't that an amazing story from the Bible? Only Jesus had the strength to control the man with the evil spirits. Jesus has power over evil, and he used his power to free the man. He has power over everything. Jesus came to earth to destroy the devil by dying on the cross. One day, Jesus will end evil forever. Let's take a look at our main point for the story today. Jesus healed a man with many evil spirits. And our big picture question and answer, what did Jesus heal people from? Jesus healed people from sickness, sin, and death. And now let's get to our Bible verse for today. If you look in the Old Testament book of Psalms, chapter 103, verses 2 and 3, we hear, Praise the Lord my soul, and forget not all his benefits, who forgives all your sins and heals all your diseases. Isn't that exciting? This psalm by David reminded him to praise God for the healing and forgiveness that only he provides. We can praise God for the same reasons. As you read this key passage, remember what Jesus has done for us on the cross and praise him for it. Okay, boys and girls, now it's your turn to go out and share what you have learned in today's CFC Kids Ministry Moment with your friends and family. You can tell them how Jesus healed a man with many evil spirits. Before Jesus healed him, no one could control him. 
he was dangerous and hurt himself and others. But the evil spirits, even though they were powerful, had to obey Jesus. Jesus has power over all things. Jesus died on the cross and rose again to make a way for us to be forgiven of sin. We don't need to fear evil because Jesus has defeated it. All right, boys and girls, will you join me now in our closing prayer to thank God for his story from the Bible? Let's fold our hands, bow our heads, and close our eyes. Father, thank you for your goodness. We know that there is evil and sin in the world. Thank you that Jesus is more powerful than anything or anyone else. Help us to trust in him for our salvation. Thank you that we don't have to be afraid of evil. Thank you for loving us, God. We love you. It's in your son Jesus' name we pray. Amen. All right, boys and girls, that's all I have for today's CFC Kids Ministry Moment. Be sure to join us next week as we will learn about a time Jesus was in a crowded place and felt a specific woman touch his clothing. What would make one woman stand out from a crowd of people? This story is from the book of Mark in the Bible, and you don't want to miss it. Bye for now.